Unlike other pageants, Ms. Florida is unique in that it is open to a woman who may have children or has been married. But what's not unique is that a Tampa Bay woman has given the crown recently. And of course, we're talking about our next guest in Shayna Mitchell, who joins us today to talk about the pageant, her work, and most importantly, her dedication to kids to help them feel like royalty. Welcome, Shayna. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. Well, we're excited you're here. And, and actually, this is like a welcome back. She recently was a photographer for Carly and I, which that'll be coming up later. But we got to meet you, fall in love with you, and really appreciate the work that you're able to do in this community. But let's first talk about the pageant and how you were able to get the title of Ms. Florida. So pageants are a funny thing. I started them when I was a little kid just to like kind of get out of my shell and be comfortable in front of people. And then I decided to do it as an adult to have so you lose you lose yourself in motherhood sometimes yep. and I wanted a reason to get back in shape and once I did one I realized how much per personal growth there is that comes from it so I was I used to be Miss Tampa then I became Miss Florida and I recently competed at Miss United States and placed top three in the nation hey. very exciting congratulations you. and you know you talked on having one kid you actually have three little ones yes. right yes it feels like an army <laughs> and I know one of the big things too in, in getting to know you and talking about pageants is that it's your platform or your cause what you want to change in the world if you will mm -hmm. and I know that comes from a personal story that you're able to kind of revamp and help others, right? Definitely, yeah. I went through a really dark time facing domestic violence and pageants gave me a way to inspire other women that there's hope after being in a dark place. It gives purpose to the pain that I went through. And I really liked you were talking about all the wonderful things that you've gotten to do. I mean, you've been in New York Fashion mm. Week. You've gotten to do some really glamorous things. Yes. But really, it's the impact that you see by helping women not feel alone, you say? Definitely, yeah. I mean, I've you know, walked on the runways of New York Fashion Week, done photo shoots, traveled all across the nation. And that's great, fun memories, awesome, glamorous times. But really the thing, the sense of purpose that I get from it is hearing from people on an individual basis that I've helped them. Well, you help a lot of kids and you yeah. help a lot of kids feel like princes, princesses, and you use your photography business. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about this. And, and this is one of the things that Carly and I were just like, wow, this is awesome. Well, I went to school for broadcasting and did photojournalism and then kind of got into portrait photography and I love the artistic side of it. So it kind of became a natural way having children of my own that I started to do a lot of pictures of kids. And I founded the Unicorn Initiative. It's a way to give kids that are struggling with trauma, illness, cancer, um, a way to live a fairy tale and have a magical experience and also give artwork to their family that they can cherish for years. So I love yeah. these pictures. I mean, every kid wants to be a mermaid or be able to ride on a unicorn like we just saw. What do you hear from those kids? What's it like to be able to shoot them in that day and make them feel special? Well, I've had a range of experiences. Some kids are just so excited and some are a little scared and they, it's overwhelming. One child was in, um, you know, she couldn't go to the beach for years and it was actually like her first time going to the beach for a while and she got to dress up as a mermaid and she was just overwhelmed. So it's such an intense experience for them. And, um, but definitely by the end, it's all smiles and, and laughs after and it's so rewarding for me to give back in that way. Oh, no questions. Well, if people want more information on you or how they're able to get involved with the Unicorn Initiative, where would you like to send them? My website, it's my name, shanamitchell.com. There's a link for the Unicorn Initiative. There's a link to request me to come to appearances. I love public speaking and talking, especially to students or single moms, anybody who needs some encouragement. So I love going to What events. about to co-host? Do you love talking to co-hosts? Because this I, is fun. I do. I'll fun. come back anytime. <laughs> this is fun. Thank you for having Thank me. Thank you for coming in. We appreciate it. Keep up the good work, too. Thank you.